Hello students, welcome to Anne's classes. Let's do constructions, chapter 18. Page number 216, question 3. Draw angle ABC of any suitable measure. And then we have to follow all these instructions. So the first thing we're going to do is draw a line segment and then draw an angle of any suitable measure. You can use your protractor. So now we have an angle here. Let's name it A, B, C. So we have A, B and C. Now let's follow all the instructions. Question 1 is draw B, P, the bisector of angle A, B, C. It means we're going to bisect this angle. Now if this angle is 60 degrees, bisecting means we're dividing it into two equal halves. Each half will be 30 degrees. Whatever your measurement is, half of that will be the bisected angles. So to draw a bisector means dividing it into two equal halves. So for that, what we're going to do is take our compass, place the needle of the compass at the vertex of this angle, that is at point B and draw an arc. So we have an arc here and the arc is cutting the arms of angle A, B, C at two points. Let's name the point of intersection here as D and the point of intersection here as E. So this is the first step. Now to draw the bisector, we have to take a radius on the compass, which is more than half of this distance, more than half of this. And once you have that, place the needle of your compass at D and draw an arc here. So you'll get one arc here. Place the compass needle on E with the same radius measurement and cut this arc. So now we have two arcs that have been cut. After placing our compass at D and E, we have got these two arcs. Now join B and this, the intersection of this arc. Now the intersection of this arc, let's name it first. We'll name it as P. So this is the point of intersection of the two arcs. Now look at the question. It says draw BP. So let's join that and we have drawn BP and that is the bisector of the angle ABC. So BP is the bisector of this angle ABC. That means it has divided ABC into two equal halves. One is ABP and the other one is PBC. So that is the first part and we have finished that. Now look at question two. Draw BR, the bisector of angle PBC. So here we have angle PBC. Now we have to draw a bisector of this angle and name it BR. So let's do that. So again, we already have the arc, the main arc ED here. Now placing a, a compass needle at D and at this point, which we will name as F. Let's name this point of intersection as F. So first place your compass needle at D and draw an arc between P and C. So we have an arc here. Now place the needle at F and cut that arc. So we have cut that arc. We placed it here and drew an arc. We placed it here and cut the arc. Let's name that point as R. So this point of intersection is R. And let's follow the question. Draw BR. So from B to R, we're going to draw a line. So we have a line drawn. Now this BR is the bisector of the angle PBC. So that is what we've done. We drew BR, the bisector of angle PBC. And draw BQ. That means from B, we're going to draw one more bisector BQ. That is the bisector of angle ABP. A, B, P. So we are taking this portion. We're going to bisect this angle. So for that, we place a compass needle at F and draw an arc and at E and cut the arc. So we have one arc and one more arc which is cut. Now that we're going to name it as Q, B, Q. So this is named, the point of intersection is Q. Now join B, Q. So we have joined it and we have produced it there. So now this is B, Q, which is the bisector of angle A, B, P, A, B, P. So we have first bisected A, B, C, and the bisector is B, P. Then we bisected P, B, C, and the bisector is B, R. Then we bisected A, B, P and the bisectors B, Q. So we finished bisecting everything. Now the third question, are the angles A, B, Q, which one is that A, B, 
that is this angle a b q then the next one is q b p q b p that is the angle in green then p b r p b r that is the angle in yellow and r b c r b c that is the angle in blue the question is are they all equal yes they are all equal so the answer is yes then the question are the angles a b r a b r that is this angle in red and angle q b c that is q b c are they equal and q b c are they equal that's a question are the angles a b r and q b c a b r and q b c is the one yellow are they equal and the answer is yes they are equal question 4 in each of the following draw a perpendicular through point p to the line segment a b so here a line segment a b has been given to us and a point is given to us and the point is named p so we have point p here and we have to draw a perpendicular through this point. What is a perpendicular line? A line which cuts another line at right angles. So we have to draw through point P a perpendicular to line AB. So the first thing is place your compass needle at point P. Draw an arc in such way it cuts AB line AB like this at two points and let's name the points C and D. So this will be C and D. So at this point, it has cut the line segment. The arc has cut the line segment at C and D. Now again, take your compass and take a radius which is more than half the distance between C and D. More than half. Now place it at C and draw an arc straight above. Place it at C and draw an arc here and place it at D and cut the arc. So we're going to have two arcs here. So one arc by placing a compass needle at C and then we have another arc here so the point of intersection of both these arcs let's name it as q q is the point of intersection of the two arcs now join p and q so we have p here we have q here join p and q so we we have joined p and q now they have cut the line segment a b at a point and that point is o so the point where it's cut is o so now as you can see OP is the perpendicular that has cut AB and at 90 degrees. So here we have 90 degrees and on the other side too we have 90 degrees. So we have 90 degrees. So OP is the required perpendicular. So OP is the required perpendicular and we can clearly see angle AOP is equal to 90 degrees. And angle BOP is also equal to 90 degrees. So that also let's write it here. So that is angle AOP is equal to angle BOP and they are equal to 90 degrees. So we have drawn the perpendicular through point P to the line segment AB. In the second case, the point P is on the line AB. So now we're going to take point P as the center and with the help of a compass, we're going to draw an arc of a suitable radius. Now, the arc has cut the line segment AB at two points. Let's name the points as C and D. So, at C and D. Now, we're going to take C and D as the center and take a radius which is more than half the distance of CD and draw two arcs, two arcs above this. So, they cut each other. So how did we get this? By placing a compass needle at C, we got one arc. By placing at D, we cut that arc. Now this point, we'll name it as O. So the point where the two arcs have cut, we are naming it as O. Now join P, O. So we've joined P, O. So as you can see, P, O is the required perpendicular. Because it has cut the line AB exactly at right angles. So we have 90 degrees here. So OP is the required perpendicular. And angle APO is 90 degrees. And BPO is also 90 degrees. So we can show that here. 
This is 90 degrees. This is also 90 degrees. Let's write that down. So angle APO is equal to 90, which is also equal to angle BPO. So this is equal to 90 degrees. This is a third case where we have a line segment like this and a point P outside the line. So this is just like case 1. So what we're going to do is place the compass needle at P and draw an arc cutting AB at two points and let's name the points C and D. So this is C and this is D. Now placing your compass needle at C and at D means we're going to take these two as the centers and draw two arcs in the opposite direction. So we have drawn one arc and the other arc is cutting it. Now the point where the two have met, let's name it as point O. Now join P O. Join P O. So when you join P O, you get the perpendicular. So now O P is the perpendicular to A B. So we have that O P is the required perpendicular and A A. Let's name this point where they have met as Q. So in this case, A Q O is equal to 90 degrees. This is 90. Similarly, the other side is also 90 degrees. That means A Q angle A Q O is equal to angle B Q O and they are equal to 90 degrees. So we have drawn the perpendicular to the line segment AB from a point outside the line. Question 5. Draw a line segment AB equals 5.5 centimeters. Mark a point P such that PA is 6 centimeters and PB is 4.8 centimeters. From the point P, draw a perpendicular to AB. Now let's go through it step by step. Draw a line segment AB equals 5.5 centimeters. So with the help of your ruler, draw a line segment and name it AB and this is 5.5 centimeters. So this line segment is 5.5 centimeters. Now what's the next step? Mark a point P such that PA is 6 centimeters. That means PA, we are going to draw a point here, so an arc here somewhere and then uh, the measurement of that particular point which is going to be P is 6 centimeters. So on your compass, take 6 centimeters radius, place the needle at A and draw an arc. So we have an arc here. So that is 6 centimeters from A. Similarly, PB is 4.8 centimeters. So measure 4.8 centimeters radius on your compass. Place the pointed end at B and cut this arc. So we have cut that arc. Now this point is the point P. So let's name it as point P. So this is point P. That means P a. Here it says PA is 6 centimeters. That is what we measured. So PA here is 6 centimeters. So this is 6 centimeters. And PB we have already measured. And that is 4.8 centimeters. So PB is 4.8 centimeters. Now the question is from the point P, draw a perpendicular to AB. And the point P is here. And we have learned to draw a perpendicular to a line segment from a point outside the line. So how do we do that? We're going to place our compass needle at the point P and take any suitable radius on our compass and draw an arc which cuts AB. So we're going to do that. So we have drawn an arc here. Let's name the points of intersection here. So this point is C and this point is D. Now we're going to take our compass again this time the radius measurement should be more than half the distance between C and D. So once you've taken that measurement, place your pointed end of the compass at C and draw an arc in the opposite direction of P. So draw an arc. We have drawn an arc here. Similarly, keep that same radius measurement and place your compass at D and cut this arc. So this arc is cut. Now let's name this as Q, the point of intersection is Q. Now we have to join PQ. So let's do that. We have joined PQ. So now can you see we have PQ. Now PQ is the required perpendicular. We've been asked to construct a perpendicular. PQ is required perpendicular. Why? Because it has cut this angle PAB here, this angle 
now at 90 degrees. Now here let's name this point of intersection as O. So that means POA and POB. They are both 90 degrees each. So let's write that angle POA is equal to angle POB and that is equal to 90 degrees proving that this line PQ is the perpendicular to the line segment AB. We'll stop with that for now children. In our next video, we will continue with the remaining questions. Thank you children.